What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here. Everton 5, Tottenham 4 after extra time. And Tottenham have gone out in the first tournament. Uh, first tournament they've been eliminated from this season out of the FA Cup now. Um, pff, what a game, I mean. What a game of football for the neutral, first of all. Yeah, it was an unbelievable um, game of football. Second of all, some of the football Tottenham played in that game was absolutely sensational. I mean, some of our attacking play, especially in the first half, I thought was out of this world. Some of the best football we played this season. Um, some of the mentality in that team as well to come back time and time again. Uh, but ultimately, it's the same old story with the defence and we, we kind of fell flat on our asses today. Uh, there were some really good performances out there. Um, there were some really bad performances out there. But the defence is just not good enough. It's just not good enough. You can't go away to Everton, score four goals and not win the game. So frustrating. So fast. That's the biggest word you can say after that game. I know it's an exhilarating game of football. End to end shots, goals, um, really great attacking football. We came to play today. We came out. We were great. We were the much the better team for the first thirty five minutes. Majority much. of the game, we were the better side. Just not an extra time. <sighs> and. You know, I thought we dominated the ball so well. I thought Ndombele and Hoybier were dominating uh, stuff really well in the, in, um, in the middle of the park. I thought Lamella, Lucas Bergvine and oh, so Lamella on. was brilliant today. Yeah, they're all linking up so well and uh, things were going well. I thought Sanchez got a goal and he was looking confident as well. I'm thinking, all right, maybe we're in for a good tie. But Hoybier, I don't know what he's doing for that first goal, completely gifts it to um, Sigurdsson. He lays off to Cavalier and he forces a howler out of Lloris and we stay, somehow force their way back into, into the game. It's 1-1 against run of play. Then it's 2-1 against run of play when it's Charlton shoots it into the bottom corner. Then it's 3-1 out of nowhere. Like, like They hit us with a five-minute spell. Five-minute spell where they were just completely hit us through three goals. All three of them were ridiculous. I don't know if it's a penalty or not, but Hoybier again. Um, a clipping Calvert-Lewin apparently according to the referee I've seen it back I don't know if there's contact but I have to see a super slow-mo because I mean, there's no contact looks I've seen it so harsh man it does it's it looks so really harsh it's so harsh that penalty it really is so that goes to 3-1 you're thinking oh god with the way Everton defend Ancelotti in charge of this could be game over now uh, but after all the good work we have done I was frustrated then but we did really well to drag ourselves back in the game Lamella gets a goal before half time you're thinking alright the momentum's with us we're playing well we needed that goal before half time and things are and maybe we can get we can get back in this game we get the early goal in the second half yeah Kane comes on you're thinking momentum's with us now free all Sanchez gets a second from a corner and you're thinking only one team's going to win it from here because Calvaloon went off injured you're thinking and, and and yeah we, we were the better team with the only team creating chances they scored completely against a run of play again they get a goal from against a run of play again San, this time Richarlison running off Sanchez we were complaining about a free kick we didn't uh, we ended up stopped doing our jobs because we wanted this free kick which was not coming we let them score another one really great goal for, to be fair from Richarlison and then you're thinking oh we can't come back again surely but then we again we showed the mentality to come back 4-4 four, four, and we did really well again deservedly so yeah. uh, Son with his third assist of the game Kane Hedy getting at the back post and and all of a sudden you think we'll take extra time because I think if it goes extra time, we're more likely to score because we've got the better players on the bench. We're playing better football and it wasn't the worst idea. Get extra, extra time, get an extra half an hour. So we kept taking extra time. Undombele goes off, must be tired. Winks comes on and I don't know what he's doing. I do not know what he's doing Harry for that Winks. fifth goal. Harry Winks, not even just for that fifth goal. As soon as he came on, he was absolutely dog shit I'm sorry he was he was awful every pass misplaced giving away the ball he was terrible uh, in the middle of the park and then for that goal what is he doing I can what is he doing he just gives it up he just gives it up um, Sigurdsson gets the ball he plays it through to Bernard and they're 5-4 up and when do, I knew it I knew as soon as that fifth goal we're not coming back we're not coming back because it's extra time. You're tired. When you're losing, you need to put even more energy than when you're not losing um, because well, because you need a goal. You can't allow Everton to have the ball. And they just passed it around us and killed time for the next 20 minutes. And we, apart from one chance where Kane had a shot blocked by Mina, we struggled to create anything. We got put Vinicius on. We couldn't get um, any quality from the wide areas because we put Sissoko on for Doherty, who actually had a better game than he Doherty had was before. Good today, yeah. uh, Davis, um, however good he was playing, wasn't putting in any decent cross is in and the game really petered out really from when they scored the fifth goal and that's the biggest shame because we completely deserved the victory today we're much the better team but we've just shot ourselves in the foot five times and Mourinho must be wanting to punch, punch uh, 
uh, smash his head against the wall after watching that because it's so frustrating having played all that good football, having gone all the way to extra time, putting all that effort in and end up with absolutely nothing without out the cup. Just, and, and we got City on the weekend going for extra time. I mean, it's just it's gutting, so gutting absolutely gutting. And, it, and also, the, like, the confidence was shot after we uh, lost to Liverpool and Kane was off injured and all that. And the con- you saw the confidence drain from the team. And you, we seemed to get it back a bit from the West Brom game. And today we have started in really confident mood. We started on the front foot. We looked like we mean meant business today. But I'm just worried if our confidence is going to take even more of a shot after I after mean, putting all that good football and good effort and end up losing. How, how, how much longer can these midfielders and these attackers put so much confidence in this defence? I mean, game by game, they're just outdoing themselves. You know what I mean? It's just terrible. Winks. We Winks, need man. Deli Alley coming on. Yeah, look, Winks. Uh, getting obviously, half an Wentz hour, 40 was, minutes. Wentz was, when, when, Winks was, sh- was shit when he came on, but Hoybier gave away two goals. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, At least Hoybier has got a bit of credit one. in the bank, though. He wasn't the only one. Like, we, we were giving away goals left, right and centre like today. Um, so, and Winks was sort of awful. And, and we com- it completely changed once he came on because Ndombele was having a great game. And all of a sudden, we had nothing in the centre once Winks came That's on. That's what it. happens. That Ndombele is the only guy in the middle there that can actually put some intent in, the, in there and t- bring us forward, drive us forward. As soon as he went off... The game was dead for me. It was dead. I, I couldn't see us getting back into it as soon as Ndombele went off. And that's exactly what happened. And uh, we're out of a cup now. And, and it's frustrating because I really wanted to go far in this cup. I wanted to keep all our options open going into the end of the season for us to get a trophy. And I thought this was a really good avenue for us to get a trophy. I thought the FA Cup, I thought we had a really good chance of winning it. Um, and I thought um, we've been really good in knockout tournaments. And the way we played as well, that's the most frustrating thing. We played so well going forward that we let ourselves, that we completely did ourselves a disservice the way we defended because we, we were attacked so well. We're not going to get any credit for that. All this stuff, boring Jose Bilal, he completely switched up today with the, with the way we approached the game. We played on the front foot. We played really good attacking football, yet... We've shot ourselves in the foot five times and we come away with nothing. And, and, and at the end, that's been the story of our season. Yeah, It's been the story of our season. Uh, individual mistakes, um, costing us goals. And now we've, we've, we, it cost us the cup. And I'm sorry, when it's 3 all and Calvert-Lewin goes off injured and we've just brought Harry Kane on, there should be one winner in that, in that, in yeah. that game. There should be one winner and it should not be Everton. When they have one striker on the pitch and they have 10 defensive players, pretty much... We should not be letting them score another two goals. That's unacceptable, completely unacceptable. And I don't know what Joe, how, where Jose goes to because he's tried any, every sort of permutation in the back four, the back two. Nothing seems to be working. Nothing seems to be working. We keep leaking goals after goal after goal. And it's so frustrating to watch, especially with, with games today. You know, with, again, our attack has been let down and it's, 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 it's getting frustrating, man. It's getting frustrating. Yeah, I mean, it's long past that getting frustrating moment it's been frustrating all season um and yeah it's really gutting to take this performance today it really is but look we we can't just rest on our we can't keep thinking about this game we've got to keep moving forward man that's what i'm worried about Europa league west ham in between this i know but we've just had a draining fa cup uh, extra time game it's the worst time. It's the worst team to be playing after a city. It's the last team I want to be playing against is Man City because if 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 they take us apart or at least even if we lose, just lose, well, the confidence is going to start sapping away again after we fought so hard to get it back with these performances and we and we've let ourselves down and I hope Mourinho's got a massive job, massive job to turn this around now. Uh, in terms of getting the confidence back, I really believe that because we've already seen how volatile this team, this team's mentality is. We, we to to come back four times and still lose, that's got to take a hit on you. I think it has to take a hit on your confidence. I'll be, I mean, it'll, if, it'll be hard if these to. things play on this team's confidence so easily, and if we're so easily affected, then we're clearly not good enough. Well, it's clear we are. Then we're it's clearly clear we not are. good enough. How many that's, times have happened clear. this season? How many times if that we happened? get affected so easily by so? stupid things every single week every loss kind of affects our confidence every this affects our confidence every that affects our confidence it clearly means we're not good enough that's what it clearly means so anyway that is the instant match reaction we are out the fa cup 5-4 in an absolute classic fa cup tie at goodison park um but look we should have won that game today we should have won that game we were the better side gave away five absolutely stupid goals um, I thought some of our attacking play was some of the best football we have played all season. So you've got to take some positives from that. And I hope the squad will look at that positives from that game and take it into the next game. But 
remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. We move on to Manchester City away at the Etihad. Arguably the hardest game of the season. 5.30 kickoff at the Etihad on Saturday. Join us for the watch along on that game. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.